Hey guys, just want to talk for a moment. When you're shopping for solar in Arizona, the biggest consideration you have to really look at in a very detailed way is how materials perform in heat. We have a lot of sunlight here in Arizona, but we also have a lot of roof temperature and just a lot of heat in general. So how your cells are constructed is really critical to how they're gonna perform in the most, you know, the most extreme months, June, July, August, and September. So if you look here, this is a sun power cell. Uh, here's a non sun power cell representing the rest of the industry. Um, the basic premise is these cells are very inexpensive to buy, which is why third party installers and a uh, sales company like to use them to sell. They're fairly inexpensive, but they also, because they're inexpensive, they're built pretty inexpensively. So for example, they lay the metal wire, they actually paste the metal wire right over the silicon. So the problem with metal is metal will expand with heat, it'll contract with cold. So every year that wire is expanding and contracting, and over time that will stress and eventually start to crack the cell. It'll create some, create some micro cracks. As your cell starts to crack, you lose power. Um, so these really don't weatherize very well in Arizona because of our temperature extremes. So when I'm looking at solar and what I did for my house is I looked at SunPower, it's the uh, unique cell design. Here the cell has no wires on the surface, which is patented. Um, the cell itself has the wiring surface on the back and that's laid into a foundation of copper. So unlike silicon, which is fragile and can't really take any expansion and contraction without cracking, copper is very flexible. So this cell can actually flex in temperature without breaking on the cell itself. So this can actually weatherize with any kind of extreme heat, cold. Um, it's designed for that. Again, the, you can look at the connection through the cell. It's designed for tension. Here are just two little wires connecting. It's not really designed for tension. Uh, to show you a very simple demonstration of what that looks like, um, so this cell here is a sun power cell. You can flex it because the back of the cell again is copper. So this whole side is the wires enmeshed into a copper foundation and you can flex this. And even if it does crack, it still holds together. So it's unlikely it would ever crack because of the copper, but it will still hold together. And this is again designed for extreme temperature. When you have the average silicon cell with the wire pasted on the surface, you can see it's laid on that silicon. So as you flex, you can do a minor amount of flexing, but as you flex more, it'll literally start to crack. And as it cracks, you lose power. So why is this important? Because your solar investment is not a one or two or three year investment. It's a 25, 30 year uh, proposition. You're buying power for at minimum 30 years and you wanna make sure you get all the power you paid for. So look at cell construction and if you have additional questions and look for more content, look on my website, phoenixgreenteam.com. Thanks so much.